Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. <clears throat> Alright, guys, we're starting with the good old baby tooth deck. It's small, but it's big, right? What is the truth that you need to see that you've probably been wondering about? What does spirit have? Ooh. <clears throat> I act as if I'm happy with my decisions. I'm not. So, guys, you have someone in your energy who's not happy with their decisions or whatever they've made, done. I pray you are able to trust and believe in me again. So, the person did something, guys. They don't know if you'll ever trust them again. Just go to, um, no trust them. Guys, you think that this person is too secretive. Yeah. You think they're too secretive. They probably kept things from you. Too secretive. Here we have. You believe we're perfect strangers. We're perfect strangers. So you don't really know this person like you know them. But you don't know them because they've been so secretive. Right? So maybe you try to piece it together to figure out who they are. Holy Spirit, what's going on? This person could be in court for something, guys. They could be in court. And then there's the main female. That could be you. So something could be going on in this person's life, right? Yeah. Something could be coming to an end to the point where they're in court. You have to involve the law with somebody else's direction. Maybe getting a message soon. It could be a text, an email, a voice message. You may be getting a message from this person soon. They're not happy with their decision, but you you already see that it's too secretive. Like you're perfect strangers. You don't know enough. <clears throat> the sun. This person that's in court, guys, could be married with the sun card in court. They could be married, but they're thinking about you, the person from their past, where they have fond memories or, you know, just good memories thinking back. This person's up in their head about an ending, about an ending that take, taking place or have taken place. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. They're probably going to come and tell you that they're either leaving someone that where they have to go to court to leave someone. Maybe they're going to tell you they don't love this person anymore. You may get a message from a Queen of Cups in reverse from whoever they was dealing with. You may get a text or a message from that person, especially if something ends in their life. If this person knows about you, you may end up getting a message of some kind. Yeah, they're into something. This is a marriage hierarchy in reverse. So this person was in court. <clears throat> They're not happy with their decisions, even though you don't really know their decisions. You know now. Uh, you probably didn't know that this person was married, but you know now. And if this ending happens, this Queen of Cups in reverse is going to message you. They're pissed. Someone may, you may get a message from someone. This person has a lot of delays in their life, right? But they well, they want to offer you this two of cups. And this person here, they're up in their head about it. They don't like it. You may get a message, guys, from a queen of cups in reverse. Because this queen still wants things to work in their relationship. They still want to be happy with this person. So you may get a message. This queen going to ask you, just go have a drink or two. They want to go out and have a drink with you. I don't know. It could be more than one. I think this person that's getting a divorce, they want you back. And they're frustrated. They're very frustrated. 
something in her world. They ended something. They definitely ended something with an empress here. This empress here, the queen of cups in reverse. This person wants to come and talk to you. Oh. I think for you, it was too secretive. Yeah, they're leaving somebody. Lovers in reverse. But the death card in reverse, they want you back. Either they want you back or their lover wants them back. But this empress wants to talk to you. Yeah, this is Ace of Swords. This person's moving on. They're tired of arguing with this person. This person, they don't want them to leave, so they're constantly arguing with them. And they do have regrets. I don't know if they regret getting with this person or they regret that this person cheated. But it looks like a married person is trying to come to you. Um, they pray you're able to believe in them again. I don't know. Yeah, they're leaving somebody. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is the King of Pentacles, guys. With the Wheel of Fortune. So they're definitely going to come in. They was dealing with a lot of injustice. Guys, they're coming in with this page of wands. They see you're this person's wish fulfillment. You're their wish fulfillment. And they're coming in. They had to heal. Or they are actively healing. This is an emperor. The emperor's coming in to you. Yeah. It looked like this person was married. You think they're too secretive, but you're about to find out why. Holy Spirit, yep, you're about to find out why. Spirit said this is probably an unlikely connection, so be careful with that. And choose a new direction, baby. Mm. Spirit, stop that shit immediately. Spirit said, no, 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 no. You are not doing this. No, 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 no. You are not doing this. Guys, don't do it. You already know this person is too secretive. You think that you two are perfect strangers. You probably didn't know this person was married. So if you didn't know this person was married, how do you think they're going to treat you? I mean, and if they was able to get that lie off, of that big of a lie, that's a very secretive person. I don't think I would want anybody who hid a whole ass marriage because why would you hide your marriage? You were married to that person. You love that person. It's one thing if they never plan on leaving their husband or their wife and then that's what they're doing. They're lying and cheating or whatever. But this person hid a whole marriage all the way up to divorce. And if you didn't know, that's a sneaky ass person. That's sneaky. Spirit said this is unlikely, guys. Choose a new direction. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Because don't, don't do it. I know you probably like, oh, you need a divorce, blah, 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 boop, boop, boop. No. He hid or she hid a whole husband or a whole wife. They hid a whole relationship. And why do you have to hide something you love? It's one thing if you tell them, hey, you know, I was married, blah, blah, blah. I'm not happy. We're in the middle of a separation. That's fine. You can be like, all right, get, do your thing. Call me when you're done. But don't try to date another person without telling them what's going on. That's the liar of all liars. Because you don't have to lie about a marriage if you're unhappy in it. You don't have to lie about a marriage if you're happy in it. You shouldn't lie about a marriage. Why are you embarrassed? Why? And if they were embarrassed of their husband or their wife, why? Where would that place you, right? You're not a husband or the wife. So where would you even rank there? You know what I mean? Hell no. Spirit said choose a new direction. Y'all better stop playing. Thanks for watching. Please like, share. I said please. <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe, guys.